Welcome to episode 1195 of Love Serve Care. Today's episode, I want to tap into the reflections from over the weekend. And I know I still have some more reflections from Vancouver to share. Those are coming, I promise. I will not to let you down on that aspect, but I wanted to just give a quick shout out to my comrades from the BIPOC Coach Collective, members, non-members, everyone that was involved, everybody that came out on Saturday night to celebrate with us, celebrate this first year of existence in this different space as far as being a paid membership model, right? It's kind of interesting (laughs) sharing the story of the collective and these two dates, July 2020 and when it really officially started and then February of last year, the four of us, myself, Reem, Gwen, and Kibi taken this to the next level in terms of offering more content, offering more resources, and just putting this space together. And what we got to experience on Saturday was was really like that culmination of it, right? It's the Super Bowl. It's that moment of people are here. We are real. This is as legitimate as it gets. This is <laughs> as official as it needed to be. Anybody who was involved, like can see the journey from what it looked like in 2020 2021 to right now and then for new folks they were blown away impressed and and really got hopefully what we intended was the sense of community and um you know the importance of you know black and brown and all these different cultures coming together for this purpose, right, of creating this brave, authentic space to advance per- our professional development, to to grow our businesses, to elevate our voices globally in this coaching profession. And then I believe we stay true to that mission. So for myself and for the team, we want to give ourselves the pat on the back. And then what I loved most about it was the, the future cast. And we had a, a cardboard cutout, like stock, you know, cardstock, whatever. And it was just simple, you know, what do you want to wish the collective, right? What do you want to wish us, like, as a, as a birthday wish? And a lot of things were coming up there. It's like, hey, we need to do more in-person things. We need to get conferences going. We need to do all this stuff. I'm like, yeah, that that's that's definitely in the works. And that machine will will crank that out and we'll, we'll figure it out and create. But I just want to share that it doesn't take a lot of people to build, right? Just you just need a few select folks who are committed and, and deeply devoted and let us run the engine and let the, the movement move through the people. That's where I see that opportunity coming for you if you choose it. So remember that you're born to live your life in abundance. You're the master of your future. You control your freedom and you have complete dominance of your thoughts, your emotions, and your habits. Take care. God bless. Stay blessed.